But this pond has been here for, well, since the Civil War. Paul Bison agreed back in March to let Chesapeake drill a well on his 80 acres in Keithville. Nobody in the section or the neighborhood is going to ever benefit unless somebody lets them drill. And when we leased three years ago, we knew what it was for. We took the money, and now it's time for somebody to step up to the plate and help them let it happen. Five months later, the Bison 31H1 was in the final stages of completion, hydraulic fracturing. Water and sand are forced down the wellbore and into the shale, opening fractures in the rock, creating a path for the trapped gas to escape. It takes anywhere from two to three million gallons of water to complete a well like this one, and two-thirds of it are used in the fracking process alone. That's a lot of water. So in this case, Chesapeake asked landowner Paul Bison if they could buy some of the surface water from his pond. They proposed early on to use the pond water as opposed to drilling wells and pulling out of the, the water table, which was a, a, a good thing for everybody. So. I was all for that. Still, they did have to drill four supply wells. A good deal for everybody. It saved them from having to drill seven wells. I'd much rather they use the, the water that was free than to pump it out of the ground, too. So, I mean, it was a, a no-brainer. But the Bison 31H1 is just one well, and some say all the recent drilling is pushing the Carrizo Wilcox Aquifer to its limits. You're going to see some, some detrimental effects locally, and then once that well is, is fracked, and they move to another area, whatnot, then you, you may see some detrimental effects in those areas. Chesapeake points out that their operations only account for about three-tenths of a percent of the seven billion gallons of water consumed each year in northwest Louisiana, suggesting that there are bigger drains on the water supply than the oil and gas industry. A well over a typical 20-year life of a well uses about 84,000 barrels of water. In Shreveport and Bossier, our 10 golf courses consume 94,000 barrels of water over a two-day period. Still, worries about water usage have prompted calls for conservation, and companies like Chesapeake say they are seeking alternative sources like the Red River and Toledo Bend. Heck, we're even testing the ability to use gray water, which would be treated water from a sewage plant. If it's got the, got the right qualities, it could be used in the fracturing process. But the actual use of gray water is still a few years away. In the meantime, they'll have to keep drilling supply wells, buy it from local supplies, truck it in, or draw it from surface waters. Having the access road to the back side of the property was an advantage to us. For Paul Bison, having Chesapeake for a neighbor and partner has been a win-win. Well, thus far, it's been, it's been great. It's been a lot less noise, a lot less intrusiveness than I ever imagined that it would be. Within 24 hours of finishing the five-day frack job, the trucks and workers are gone, and the natural gas is flowing to market. Long term from now, this could be a green pasture again, with the exception of a wellhead that coexists along with a herd of cattle. Idyllic imagery that could indeed become part of the landscape as the thousands of wells planned for the Haynesville Shale become reality over the next several years. In Keithville, Carolyn Roy, KSLA News 12.